Let's go over to the US election and Kamala Harris is noticing she's got a small problem with black voters. So she has run out this great idea, she's calling it the Opportunity Agenda for black men. Now, you go through some of the things she is suggesting in here. Some of them are just downright racist. For instance, there's going to be, under her plan, a million fully forgivable loans to black entrepreneurs so that they can start up businesses. I'm oh, sure there are nice. people uh, across uh, Middle America, through the Rust Belt and whatever, who are going, my God, I haven't had a job for five years because you took away my manufacturing jobs. If only I had an opportunity to get a fully forgivable loan from the government, I might go and make a go of things, but no. Unless you're black you can't get hold of that. The rest is full of motherhood statements. So it goes on to say that uh, Harris wants to protect uh, uh, black investments in cryptocurrency. I'm not sure exactly why that <laughs> is uh, pulled out, but anyway, that's there. Um, and also, she wants to give opportunities for black men to work in the marijuana industry. If there was anything you ever wanted people to get involved in, <laughs> there it is. So you might be asking yourself, why is it that Kamala Harris would three weeks out from the election, finally come up with some plan to appeal to black men. I suspect this is the reason. This is the Democratic margin among black men under the age of 45 in presidential elections. You go back to November of 2012, what do you see? You see Obama by 81. Clinton only won him by 63. Then we're all the way down to Biden last time around yeah. by 53. A tremendous drop already. And then you take a look at the average of the most recent polls and Kamala Harris is up by only 41 points. That is about half the margin that Obama won them by back in November of 2012. Not looking good, is it? Perhaps black voters in America have woken up to the fact that the Democrats have taken advantage of them for a very long time. They have just counted on them for their vote. That is not happening anymore, at least it's mm. on the decline. It's not working. And you could see the numbers right through from Obama down to Harris. It has declined at every single election, the black support for the Democrats, because they've gone, hang on, what, what have you actually done for me in the last 20 odd years? Nothing, basically, because you thought you could rely on my vote. The tide is starting to turn, and so Harris has gone, oh my God, what can I do? What can I possibly do? Um, I'll protect your crypto investments and I'll get your jobs in the the marijuana industry. I mean, <laughs> God, she sadly pulled the best out of the bag. Has she? And this is just four days after. She announces this plan just four days after Barack Obama went viral because he was telling off black men for their lacklustre support of the Harris campaign. He literally took them to task. This, of course, is because black men in America have traditionally been part of the supporter base of the Democrats, and as you just saw in that CNN clip, they are now freaking out. So hot on the heels of Barack Obama taking it upon himself to literally chide these guys, what are you doing, support the blue team, now you've got Kamala coming out saying that another part of what she was planning in this plan for helping black men was studying diseases that disproportionately affect African-American men. So she's genuinely pulling out every stop. Another one was more apprenticeships for black men in America. So it's basically just trying to offer them any kind of candy they could possibly want before they go to the polls in three weeks' time.